This screencast is another in a series of ones in which I talk about how to visualize the phase equilibria. In this particular case, I want to visualize the binary liquid-liquid equilibrium phase behavior. Many times process designers fail to take into account the impact of soluble water in their distillate streams. While this can be costly after the design is built and online, it can be devastating in those processes where the downstream process is incompatible with water. In this particular case, I'm using the isoprene water system as an example. In order to do liquid-liquid equilibrium calculations, whether binary or multi-component, I have to ensure that the thermodynamic settings are such that the solution model that I use is capable of predicting liquid-liquid phase behavior. In this particular case, I have selected Unifac LLE. Alternatively, there are a lot of solution models I could use that, for example, cannot predict liquid-liquid equilibria even when present. For example, Wilson's solution model is incapable of predicting liquid-liquid phase behavior. I also have to ensure that the solution model I choose has either preloaded binary interaction parameters or I will load binary interaction parameters, a topic for another screencast, or I predict from structure. In this particular case, I'm going to predict the phase behavior based on the structure of water and the molecular structure of isoprene. I also have to invoke the vapor liquid liquid solid K value option to ensure that ChemCAD knows that I want to explore liquid liquid phase behavior. Once I've made those checks to ensure that I can in fact calculate liquid liquid behavior, I go to plot, binary LLE, and arrive at the dialog box. This dialog box follows the typical ChemCAD convention. Any option that is in green, I must select a value for. Any option that is described in black, there are default settings. I'm interested in the water content of isoprene, so I'm going to select water as component one and isoprene as component two. The temperature range I'm interested in is temperatures that I might see using cooling water condensing on the Gulf Coast. I'm going to calculate nine points and in this case I'm interested in weight fraction. ChemCAD will provide an estimate for the water in the isoprene phase and the water in the water phase. I arrive at a table I'm calculating water isoprene binary liquid liquid equilibria using the Unifac LLE solution model. This is the weight fraction of water in the isoprene phase, the weight fraction of water in the water phase. A plot is also provided. I can zoom in on a specific area. and visualize the phase behavior as a function of temperature of water in the isoprene phase. So again, it's very important to be able to visualize phase behavior to understand why a process works the way it does. In this particular case, I want to visualize the liquid-liquid behavior. I want to ensure that my solution model is capable of predicting liquid-liquid equilibria should it exist. I need to ensure that I tell ChemCAD that I want to calculate liquid-liquid phase behavior. I arrive at my dialog box by going to plot, 
binary LLE, select my components, select my temperature range. If I choose, put in the number of points, choose the composition I want calculated, I arrive at a text output and a graph. In this way then, I can visualize the binary liquid-liquid equilibria using ChemCAD to better understand the performance of my process simulation. This tip showed you how to plot binary liquid-liquid equilibria. Thank you for using ChemCAD. For more tips, please visit ChemStations.com. My name is Chip Howitt.